So, but uh, th this morning we would like to start with some results from the activities Saskia Visser from, uh, had um, organized during the poster presentation uh, about the quiz, a book crossing, you said. So I'd like to give you the floor and tell us about your results, Saskia. Yeah. Thank you, Norbert, and uh, thank you for all for coming here. Um, uh, I'm just, uh, I know there's a lot of people around here that can do this much better than I can. Uh, but anyhow, I'm stuck with it, so uh, I'll best make the most of, uh, most of it, the best of it, and I hope you can uh, uh, join me on this. Uh, what we did here is, um, I'll tell you, oh, I'm going to just for, first start the presentation. Does it work? Okay. Um, what we did yesterday during the poster session is a, a, a bit of a, an activity and uh, of course because we are all here speaking about participatory research and action research and things like that, we thought well we cannot only talk about this but try to get it into practice, right? Because that's what we are. Uh, so this is a research in, uh, not really a research because it's a small group and it was for fun so uh, uh, don't take me too seriously, I don't. Um, but uh, what we did yesterday for the people that uh, didn't come by the poster session, and of course people watching online the plenary sessions, they couldn't come by the poster session, so I have to explain it uh, for a bit. Uh, what we did is we did a test and a book crossing session, and the test uh, was uh, uh, on, uh, this was the title, What About Your Own Commitment to Society? So that is what we tried to test in the audience uh, uh, we saw yesterday. And I'd like to present to you the, the results of that. Uh, but first, uh, where did this come from? Um, we, uh, in the summer of last, last year, uh, there was a night of arts and science in the city of Groningen. And this is a kind of nocturnal festival where a lot of people come and uh, come to the streets and also to the university and to come to the museums are open, the libraries are open, the theater is open, and there's a lot of activities going on. Um, people doing, uh, are busy doing experiments, listening to, to lectures, but also listening to music on the streets and, and uh, a lot of, of things going on. A lot of people come, and we thought, well, it's nice to be there as a science shop as well. And um, so we got our own little mobile science shop, which was a, was a little uh, work of art, and uh, we could move that around with a bicycle. And we went through city center, and then we, we put it up everywhere, and then uh, we could shout out in the streets, uh, free science, free science, come over here. And uh, a lot of people came over, and it was very, uh, a very fun way to get into contact with people. That was the main issue. And, uh, and also a bit of seriousness was, was going on because we wanted people to, to think about what was their own commitment to society and, uh, and also, of course, to, to promote ourselves a bit. So, I mean, that's a fair thing to do. Um, and uh, so what we did is um, we, uh, we did a test. Oh, I, sh I should take the test here. talk to the microphone probably. It, it's there if you didn't get a chance to get the test that you can, there's a lot of copies go, uh, lying around so just take your test. Um, and what we did was uh, just take five situations, we are five sign shops so that was not very uh, uh, complicated to do. We took five thematically uh, um, uh, situation that linked to one of our science shops. So there was the first question uh, about uh, when your child has dyslexia, what do, you, what do you want to do yourself? Or you think this is a problem that the school should solve? Or do you, uh, do you want to take, uh, put some effort in this yourself? Okay, so and because we have a science shop for education, that was a fair question to ask. And then uh, we had another question about um, uh, are you, you're an expert, so it's all, uh, you have to imagine you're an expert on, on finance and uh, a, a club of elderly people uh, wants to know something about internet banking. Can you explain this to, the, uh, to this group? 
So uh, these are thematically uh, linked, and we have a, a science shop of uh, business and economics. So you thematically linked to uh, the science shops, and, and what's in the questions is um, they reflect on what is asked from researchers that they do when they uh, go into science and society interactions. So you should be uh, willing to cooperate, you should be willing to explain difficult things in a in a, uh, in a normal way, uh, you should be uh, open to questioning and things like that. So they, these are inside these little uh, situations. Well, um, and then the other thing we did uh, is uh, book crossing. We had, uh, uh, if people filled out the test for us yesterday, they could win a prize and that was a book. Uh, but it was not their book to own, but it was their book to give away again. <laughs> so uh, they were all popular uh, scientific books uh, which contain knowledge, and knowledge has to be passed on. So that was the message we, we were trying to get across. We did this at the night of, of Arts and Science as well, with a bit more books because there were a bit more people walking by. Um, and these books were sent traveling, and there is a special website, bookcrossing.com, and you can follow these books and see, oh, it's here now, and somebody's saying, uh, oh, this was a rotten book, and uh, I, I'll give it to my worst enemy, and then another one is saying, oh, this was very nice, and uh, I will, uh, but I'll leave it in the cafe for somebody to find, or whatever. Um, so uh, we did this, this uh, yesterday, and we're going to keep track of those 14 books, which I'm pleased to say uh, they're going all over the world, if, if you really, uh, um, well, if you, you stay with me and, and do that, I had some books to Israel, Canada, Portugal, uh, wherever. So, uh, so we keep track of them uh, traveling around. Okay, now you're, you're uh, wanting to know how we did on the test, right? Okay, we had uh, 31 of, um, participants, and we have a lot of more women filling out this test than men. Let's look around. We have more women here than men. Whoa. No, no, no. Okay, so maybe this tells us something about women liking, like to do tests and men don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, we had uh, 13 countries that participated, and then I put up a sign to, uh, to state, well, who these people are, a lot of researchers, a lot of science shops, and people are, some, some people say, well, I'm this and that, and so on. So they want, didn't want to be placed into one little position. Okay, so I think that's about uh, uh, what we are here. Well, and uh, if you do the test, you get a score. And the score, uh, then you have, get a verdict on the score, and uh, this, this, uh, it, it places you into a type. So you have a ha very high score, we call you a social hero. Uh, you have a bit less than you're one of us, we can relate to you. Um, is it a bit lesser than you're a busy acquaintance? You are committed to society, but you have a lot of other things to, to do, so that's fair. And uh, you can be an absent friend, so it's no time for you to be uh, committed to society at this point. And uh, there were some people uh, worrying about, oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to get the right type. There's no right type, or I should say all four of them are the right types. So it's not that you should be a social hero, but it's to reflect for yourself on who you are, where do you stand, what you find is, is, is important. So you're just as good if you're a busy acquaintance than if you're a social hero. It's, it's not, not a value uh, on this. So that's what we try to get across. Well, uh, what do you think? Um, who are we? What, 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 will you, what, what would you uh, predict? Are we most of us? Are we social heroes sitting here? Are we one of us? Are we busy acquaintances? Or are we absent friends? What do you, what do you think? Who's for social heroes? One of us. One of us are here. And ab what? Busy acquaintances? OK. OK. So you think we're a bit average, right? A bit in the middle. Well, average is not a nice word. Bit in the middle, right? Um, OK, you're right. 
you are perfectly right. You, you can reflect on yourself very well. Uh, there were four, 14 busy acquaintances, 13 one of us, and we had four social heroes. When we did this on the streets of Groningen, we, we found no social heroes. <laughs> so you're a bit better than, than the, uh, uh, well, not better, but you're a bit more up there than, than, uh, than most the uh, average people are. We have no absent friends. Maybe they were absent. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't have absent friends on the streets of Groningen as well. So, uh, so don't. Uh, they were all at home crying, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, what shall I say more? Oh, okay. I'll just get. Uh, what do you think about the gender issue? So we have not so many men doing this test. Do you think they score higher or lower or just the same? You think higher? Here are two men saying they score higher. <laughs> what did a woman think? What did a woman think? You think they're about the same? For sure you think they're about the same. Oh, well, let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look what they are. Okay, we had the highest score for a man, but we also had the lowest score for a man. And they're really extreme scores. I mean, we had a, a 19 out of 20, which is very unusual. And we had a 7 out of 20, which is almost an absent friend. So. Um, uh, men, maybe you could say, well, it's just eight men doing the test, so don't take me too seriously. I said that. Um, but, uh, I mean, men maybe tend to be more in the extremes. But average, if you uh, get to the average score, you're exactly the same. So, um, don't worry, we're all just human beings doing the same thing, right? Um, what do you think about difference between continents? We had not a lot of people, uh, we had a lot of people from Europe and a lot of people from Northern America and we didn't have a lot of people from outside the region so I can't say anything about that. But do you think the Europeans score higher or do the North Americans score higher? What do you think? The same? North Americans are higher. Why do you think that, Hank? <laughs> Just the feeling, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, no, no. It's the same score. Although there were some people saying, well, I think I can score higher if I live in Europe. <laughs> because you have more clubs, and that was something that we, we asked. Of course, this was, the test was made for the Dutch situation, and I just translated it. I didn't do anything in cultural differences. So if you're wanting to, to use a test at home, then you should look at that, that you get the right view. But also, I mean, that was, I think it was a Canadian lady saying that, but there was, the highest score was for a Canadian man. So, I mean, uh, you can do it. So it's, but, um, okay. Here are the nice things, I think. We had a lot of nice conversations, and that was, was what we planned to do it for. And, and, and there's some uh, fun things and some not fun things, maybe. But um, there was somebody sa uh, said, uh, I, could, I didn't realize I could contribute something by stating sensible things on the internet. I never do that, and, but I didn't think that mattered. Well, okay. Um, there were people saying, hey, I, I actually did that once and that was good. So they, they related to, to the situation. Uh, there were people saying, oh, maybe I should mo join more clubs. I did that in the past and, and then I felt more involved. So that was, uh, they set themselves a goal. We didn't do that, they set it themselves. Uh, people saying that uh, this was a busy acquaintance said, well, it's a difficult time in my career, but I love to become one of us. So that was agenda setting as well, you could say. And, um, and we had a very, a very fun thing is uh, that somebody said, oh, I read the first question. I thought, hey, this is about me. And then I went on to the second question. 
no, but this is about me. And uh, so they were really relating to that. But we had the other way around that people say, hey, I don't play football. There's a question about football. So uh, <laughs> then you think, oh, okay. So, so it's difficult for some, some things that if you can connect to the situation, you can get the good answer. And, and if you cannot connect, it's more difficult, of course. So, uh, but I, I always said, don't take it too seriously, right? Um, this is what I said before. Somebody says, oh, I'm afraid to take the test because my score will be low. But that's what happened on the streets sometimes as well. We said, no, it isn't about scoring high or low. It's just about uh, getting a reflection on what you do and, and what you want to be and, and, and what is your si situation at this point. So don't worry. And, and the last one we had in, uh, a lot, that's why I, I got some copies out here. A lot of people say, hey, can I take this with me because I want to use it in a science day or in talking to students. Okay, that, uh, the answer is yes, of course, you can uh, do with it what you want. You can translate it, but you can put your own things in it. It's, it's not our, our right to, 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 uh, to own this or whatever. We think this, this was a fun way for us to, to get into contact with people, and we try to share it with you, and if you can do something with it yourself, uh, please do. Okay, the last thing I will go to say is people of you that got a book from us, don't forget to cross it. Don't put it in your own book, on your own bookshelves for too long. Just uh, uh, please somebody else with it as well, and we take track of it. And if you think, well, this is a nice thing, then uh, you can, and you want to get a digital version, then I will uh, uh, be happy to, uh, to supply it to you. Well, that was the results. Thank you very much.